Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a full body booty focus again workout with some exciting exercises included including something you requested another variation of the Bulgarian split squats. So remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting in low squat and we're gonna take a big step forward, back, center, opposite side. Now the key here is to stay low. Stay low. Just do not move from your low position. Oh, booty. All right. Right leg onto the elevated surface. Knee. Left knee over the ankle. Lean forward and lower down every two, three ones you can hop, although it's so difficult. I don't even think I can pull off a hop. Woo! Oh, my goodness. This is seriously ridiculously challenging. Opposite side. So, lean forward with a straight back. So it's a deadlifting alignment. This targets a little more the booty. Woo! The pain is absolutely real here. It's my muscles are on fire. Leaning forward, straight back. <clears throat> wow. All right, uh, get down on your back butterfly, hip thrusts, one, really squeeze at the top, two, squeeze, three, squeeze, four, squeeze, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, squeeze, ten, come back up and lay down, halfway down, legs extended in front of you, knee in, knee in, pull the belly in, knee in, knee in. the entire time your core is on fire, on fire. All right, let's target the shoulders and back in pike press, stepping your feet out, hands in diamond alignment. Lower down, squeeze, shoulder squeeze. Someone asked me today on Instagram, do you get my shoulders from yoga? And yes, I do, and this is it. Not just this, but this is really good for the shoulders. Upper chest as well, of course. All right, back to the top, low squats, the beautiful low squat. Stay, stay in this space. Stay low.
really have to activate the heels here. Split squats. Starting with one side. Straight back. Leaning forward in a deadlift alignment allows you to target more of the body. You're still working on the quads. Don't get me wrong. Opposite side. there butterfly hip thrusts or butterfly bridge squeeze the body at the top this really isolates the glutes you're still working on the lower back Really squeeze. Complete control in the core, open the chest. Touch, make sure everything is connecting. Touch your belly. Pike press, shoulder press. Pivot, pivot forward so you really feel it. Firing all the chest, shoulder, muscles back. Lots of triceps. Shift your weight to the front so the legs are not taking too much of the weight off. <sighs> Believe it or not, last round. Just like that. Low squat. Push your body back. This has to be one of the most cruel, evil exercises there is. Last one. You can do it. Squeeze. 
squeeze the booty. <sighs> Straight back. If you touch your back, your back is totally working. It should not be in pain. It should be aligned and the muscles strengthening. <sighs> almost there, almost there. Butterfly. You can press into your elbows. Abs. Feel free to have your legs even bent. Bike press, so lean forward. Hands about shoulder width apart, maybe a little wider if you prefer. When you tip your chin in front of the fingers forward, you get more of the chest. Still the shoulders are working. Stretching time and finishing work time. You can hold on to a wall here or not and swing your leg in and out. Mobility, stretching, hips, hip flexors in a second. And that's how it's done, <sighs> folks, with no jumping today. Swing back and forth the leg. You can still connect with your core. You can flex your body a little bit. <sighs> Opposite side. Sideways starting. Hip flexors. Again, flex the body here, of course. When you flex the body, you actually can stretch the hip flexors a little better, working with the posing muscles. That's a flexibility tip. We, oftentimes when we're stretching the inner thighs in wide-legged forward bend, engaging the glutes can help a lot. All right. Since you have a chair, I'll torture you just a little more. Get your right leg onto the chair. One-legged pelvic thrusts or bridges. One, two. Really try to keep your hips level and lift. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, opposite side, 1, 2, try to keep the hips level, 5, 6, 7, 8, squeeze, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30. This is a super set finisher. So now step onto the right leg and we're gonna do poses. Get to the top of the rep and pose once. One, lower. Two, two poses. One, two, three, three poses. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six poses. Seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Almost there. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. That's all I could do. I was planning on ten, but eight. Eight will do. Feel free to pause the video and do ten. Let's go. One, one pose. Two, two poses. Three, three poses. Four, four poses. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew, the super set is from the booty program. I'm almost finishing. It's almost three quarters done. Continue straight to the shoulders on your chair, or if you can't put your shoulders on your chair, if it's a standard chair, then you can do bridge on the floor. So we'll do one legged pelvic stress here and lift one legged one, two, tuck the chin, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Let's call this workout the Kardashian booty. Someone said this to the, to me today. So yeah, this is going to really one, two, three, four, five. That's fifteen. Now we're gonna do the thrusts. One pulse. One, two, two, three, three pulses. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and last. One, two, three. Four, five. <sighs> mercy, I need mercy. Opposite side, almost there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <sighs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Are you ready for thrusts, poses? One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, last one, one, two, three, four, five. All right, soles of the feet together. Double pigeon, bring the ankle, left ankle over the right ankle, uh, over the right knee, flex the feet. You can lean forward here with a straight back. Feel this juicy sensation spreading into your hips. That is a beautiful yoga stretch. 
so you can just build strength in the hips or in the glutes you have to also maintain the flexibility it's a difference those two have to be of equal of equal importance and level change sides flex the feet as you go into this shin bones on top of each other if your knee is up here then accept it but also stretch a couple times a week do yoga a couple times a week yum 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 intense sometimes but it's a feeling we need with our closing hips in the western world all right shake it out come into a yogic squat elbows pressing into the knees releasing the lower back opening the hips straighten lift through the crown of the head just a tiny yoga exercise and we're done so fish face but it's a smiling fish face so when you suck in your lips in a fish we used to do it as kids also engage all the muscles that usually are engaged in smiling which is all these muscles so smile not visible but smile One more. One last. <laughs> All right, this is the opposing movements of what we normally do. Again, so it works on the opposing muscles, stretches the face, and gave, strengthens the cheeks that become weak with age. It's a good exercise. It also feels good and it gets the cheeks working look up pucker your lips and kiss the sky and look over to the right kiss over to the left kiss center kiss right left center and hands on the floor straighten the legs straight back hands on the hips come up inhale hands over the head exhale them over the third eye over the heart bow to your heart for its forgiveness compassion and love thank you all for joining me today for this workout and i'll see you on sunday namaste